just leave it to me. Piece of cake. is striking. What are they doing together? <laughs> oh! Fear not, my dear. They're just the main course for this evening. And my, don't they look fresh. It's been far too long since I've encountered Prey so feisty. Anton, what sort of madness is this? I knew it! You are a vampire! Well, if that's the case, it was rather foolish for you to venture here, wouldn't you say? But I'm afraid it's too late now. I must begin preparations. In the meantime, why don't you just stay put and enjoy each other's company? After all, it'll be your last chance. This should do the trick. Well, I suppose that's one possibility eliminated. Consider this puzzle solved. Ha! Huh, wonderful!
This should do the trick. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Leave it to me! That was almost too easy!
now to test my theory. Ha! Huh, wonderful! And now to test my theory. Ha! Huh, wonderful! Follow me. How are you related to this entire situation? Are you? There's no time. You've got to get out of here. <laughs> this won't do. People are trying to sleep, you know. Is it you? It can't be. How oh, I've waited. It's been so unbearably long. Professor, do you know what he's talking about? Not in the slightest. Come closer, my dear sweet Sophia. I've missed you so. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Very well, then. Is this how it is? I didn't see this coming, Leighton. Not at all. I'm not sure I understand. This is your fault, but you can't have my Sophia. You're going to be very sorry you crossed me. <gasps> <gasps> There's no lack of swords here. Take whichever one you like. Know this, though. 
only one of them is real. A true warrior always keeps his blade in hand. Huh? <gasps> Consider this puzzle solved. Ha! Huh, wonderful! I didn't think you had it in you, Mr. Layton. belongs to me. You can't have her. Something strange is happening. I just need to catch my breath. No more! Please, just stop! What's happened to me? Are you all right? Please just stop, Grandfather. Your body can't take it. What did you say? I don't understand. Sophia, dear. You haven't figured it out, have you? You really don't know. Then I guess it's up to me to tell you the truth. I'm your granddaughter, Anton. Don't be ridiculous. Look at me. I'm too young to be anyone's grandfather. But what you see around you isn't real. It's just an illusion created by your own mind. Your youth is part of that illusion. The truth is, well... Allow me, please. The gold mine built by your father, the late Duke Herzen, brought this town much growth and prosperity. But something terrible slept deep within that rich gold deposit. Unbeknownst to the miners, they hit a vein of hallucinogenic gas while digging for gold. The gas made those who breathed it extremely susceptible to mental suggestion of all types. Tales of the nightmarish vision seen in full sense then spread, as did the town's sinister reputation. In truth, neither the full sense we see before us nor its residents really exist. This is all a creation of our minds. How did you figure it all out, Professor? The images of full sense we saw are 50 years old, yet they show a town identical to the full sense of today. No town can remain unchanged for 50 long years. The photos we saw in the train station formed our impression of the full sense we'd see. The full sense of 50 years ago. Enough of this madness. Full sense is real. I'm real. None of it's real, Grandfather. This town is just a thin shadow. An illusion born of greed. You and Sophia? Everything you know changed 50 years ago. But you and I are betrothed. How can you just leave me here? I won't have it! This whole town is cursed. If we remain here, all those dear to me will die. Am I not dear to you, Sophia? Stay with me, and we'll rebuild Full Sense together. I'm sorry, Anton. 
but there's someone else I love who needs me even more than you. Is that the real reason you want to go? Because there's someone else? I trusted Sophia, and she left me for another. You've got it all wrong, Grandfather. She never betrayed you. What? The other she was talking about was the little life growing inside her. The life you two created together. No. That can't be. I'm sorry, Anton. But there's someone else I love who needs me even more than you. I never knew. Sophia was... That's right. Grandmother was carrying my mother, and she left Volsens to keep her safe. She kept the baby a secret to avoid causing you more pain. I've been so wrong. Grandmother passed away last year, but she was always talking about you, even toward the end. She never stopped loving you. Sophia is dead? No, it can't be. I've had enough of your lies! Oh! No! Uh... Grandfather, no! Please stop! <laughs> we must leave now! The whole place is starting to crumble! Come with me! What's this? What's happening? Huh? Come on, Grandfather! We have to get out of here! Be careful! found the answers I was searching for. Here, allow me to return this to you. Thank you. So, the box wasn't cursed after all? No, Luke. There's no curse to be found here. But if I were to guess, I suspect you'd find traces of that gas in the ore used to make this box. The same fumes that drove the town to ruin were released upon each person who opened the box. Those who opened the box expected death and in doing so, fulfilled their own grim predictions. I suppose it was just an ordinary box then. Oh, I assure you, it's far from ordinary. This box was crafted to hold the words of my heart. What do you mean? The box contains a hidden message, one meant only for Sophia. Many years ago, I asked a traveler passing through town to deliver it to her. Unfortunately, the box's value made it a target for those hungry for wealth. And so it was stolen again and again, thus perpetuating the whole chain of sad events. But we checked the box. It was as empty as could be. 
Ah, well that's because there's actually a second way to open it. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. These old words are the key to understanding this box and what it means. Do you follow, boy? I think so. Let me give it a shot. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. See if this works. That was almost too easy. I did it. Oh. What's the matter? This isn't the letter I wrote. This is Sophia's handwriting. The box must have made it to her after all. My dear Anton, are you well? I received your letter. Though I'd like nothing more than to see you again, I'm afraid I no longer have the strength to do so. You don't know how many times I've thought about you over the years. I often wonder if you hate me for what I did. Do you? When I decided to leave, I was carrying our child. I couldn't bear exposing that tiny life to such danger. I knew your father's position and understood you didn't have the option to leave with me. Even though I did the only thing I could, I'll always regret leaving you that way. But there's one bright spot in this sad story, and that is our lovely granddaughter, Katya. My departure all those years ago has given you the chance to meet. Katya's mother died shortly after she was born, but Katya grew up strong and sweet just the same. She reminds me of you every time she smiles. With her around, I could never forget about you, even if I wanted to. You've been in my thoughts since the day we parted. And now, though my time here is drawing to a close, I like to think we'll meet again on the other side. The thought of seeing your face warms my heart. Be well and be happy, my dear Anton. Goodbye. But just for now, your Sophia. Oh, Sophia. I finally understand now. Grandfather. Hmm? Grandfather? Yes, that's right. It has a nice ring to it. <laughs> I am so happy we met my dear granddaughter. You don't know how much this means to me. <laughs> it's been so long. So very long, in fact, that I had forgotten what love even felt like. Instead, my love for Sophia was replaced by anger, and that anger completely blinded me. But now I can see the world clearly again, thanks to you, my granddaughter. <laughs> Are you listening, Sophia? I'll have to put off returning to your side for a while. 
there's someone I need to get to know here first. Will you forgive me for making you wait just a little longer, my dear? Wherever she is, I'm sure she's very happy for us. And that was the tale of the Elysian box, a relic feared for the fatal curse it was said to carry. But, when all was said and done, there was no curse sleeping under its gilded lid. Instead, the box was revealed for what it truly was. A vessel created to carry the love of two kindred spirits through all of time. While terror brought the box its notoriety, in the end, its most powerful message was one of love.
Come look at this article, you two. Huh? Miracle Rescue saves beloved academic. So, the doctor's alive after all. Hmm. We'll visit him as soon as we return. Hmm. Oh, but that might conflict with the symposium you have scheduled in London tomorrow. Well then, I'll simply have to cancel. Huh? After all, Luke, one must always show gratitude to one's teachers. That's what a gentleman does. <laughs> Thank you.